Hello friends. Today we are going to talk about one of the most critical part when you set up your niche aquarium or even your fish tanks. That's about filtration. It's a strange world we're living in. The space between us paper thin. Nothing's quite what it seems. It's a brave world we're living in. Welcome to the beautiful world of nature and its balance. Something to believe. So, what does filtration mean? What does filters do? They will clean the water. Isn't? Of course, I am wrong. They don't clean the water. So, we use filters. The filtration process is to convert ammonia into nitrates. We have somebody else living inside our filters. They are called our beneficial bacteria. The first type of bacteria will convert ammonia to nitrates, and the second type of guys. Our friends, beneficial bacteria will convert the nitrates into nitrates. This is the whole process of filtration. So the most important factor we all should be aware while selecting a filter or the filter media is to understand the process or the purpose behind having a filter. So what should we be aware of when we get a filter or a filter media? First of all, let's understand how a filtration system should look like from inside. So inside a filter, the water should flow from one direction and it should exit from another direction. Obviously, you all know that. When the water enters, it should go through the coarse filter and normally we use sponges for that. I know, many of you guys will be asking, so what about the sponge filter? I am not going to talk about that. Basically for our nature aquarium, we don't need a lot of sponges. The coarse filter we use to make sure the floating and the flying particles inside our aquarium doesn't enter the filter and clog it through the media. And the second and the most critical and the most voluminous part should be filled up with your biological media and we'll talk about that in a minute. When the water exits, you can have some fine filter media and that's it, simply put, that's the whole process. Why do you need biological media? The name says so. The media will provide enough surface area or an environment for our beneficial bacteria to grow. So most part of your filter should be filled up with the biological media. Then why do we use a fine filter when the water exit there could be some you know still sticky floating items which cannot be caught by our coarse filter so these friends the fine filter media will catch those flying particles to make sure that they don't enter the fish tank again why do we need to convert ammonia into nitrates a lot of ammonia in your tank is harmful for the fishes and basically they will die off so we need to convert this into nitrates so that our plants can make use of them and do the photosynthesis. Basically, along with our fine filter media, we also use something else. That's our purigen and that completes our filter. So the next immediate question would be the second level. What should we be filling up it with? We have a lot of filter media available, biological filter media, which is available in the market. Be it your bio balls, uh, bio rings, or lava chips, lava rocks, or any other material. These are all meant for biological filtration. But if you can actually afford to buy Sikem Matrix, which is here, this is the best possible biological media that you can get. Why is that? 
The biological media should basically provide you with a lot of surface area for the bacteria to colonize and basically do more filtration process. One thing you should understand is that you can never over filter your tank. So if you can have the budget, if you can afford it, just fill up your entire canister, the second level with completely metrics. And that's the best thing you can do for your aquarium. It's a strange world we're living in The space between us paper thin Nothing's quite what it seems It's a brave world we're living in Seeing sparks in dark places Finding something to believe